text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? Two o five nine six four five two four three nine. You know two o five nine six four five two four three nine. You know. You got to read, read it before you send it out. Okay. Right. All right. Welcome, Flippinar 210. This is 210, right? Yeah. 210? Uh, well, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Flippinar 210. And the topic for today is... Can you wholesale houses in bad neighborhoods? Air quotes on bad. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're here to talk about real estate investing with a strong emphasis on wholesaling real estate where your cash or credit does not matter. Um, what I was about to say, um, we're here on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Twitter. So um, uh, we answer here to answer your questions. Um, if you want to get in front of everyone else, just text the word Gator. To the 205-964-5243, and I forgot to put the link in there. Um, okay, what you're gonna do is go to settings on community, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You uh, go to it's tabbed up at the top. It's the second tab. Customize. Yeah, just mm -hmm. scroll down. Mm -hmm. uh, find Gator keyword. Mm -hmm. Scroll all the way down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hit edit. And it should be already copy and paste. Just the link that's there, mm -hmm. highlight it, and then just CV. I mean, Command V. All of the stuff, all of the words. No, no, no. Just, just the, just, just the, the link. link. Okay. Just the link. Got it. Did it change it out? Command V. Then just space it. Get get a space in between the link and the. Okay, yes. Okay, not save it. It should be good. Oh, all right, so you text the word Gator, and um, it'll give you instructions on how you can join us live. Um, go through a few of these while people load up. You know you can partner with me on deals, 50-50. Just text the word 5050. That's on houses. And this video will explain how we can get down and make some bread together. Uh, mini storage and self storage allows us to get into the commercial world along with being able to target properties in rural areas. Houses, it makes it difficult, but with these, it doesn't. You can be pretty much anywhere. Let's get it. All right. Uh, what I got? Uh, the the uh, what gives us our superpower? This contract. It would be kryptonite to, to um, uh, Superman, but for Bizarro, it would be power up. You know what Bizarro is? Oh my God. Okay. Um, if you want to try to build a cash buyers list, text the word buyers. That video will help. Um, you want to use the real estate tool that we use on a daily basis to get everything going, text the word tool. Uh, well, one of the tools. Um, if you want training on that, uh, text the word time after you sign up for the five day free trial for it, and we'll train you. And most people fail at this business because they don't know what a great deal is. So you need to do this. You definitely need to text the letters GD to the number, get that info. And then part B of that is, is understanding ARV. So text the letters ARV. Boom. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the number for all of those keywords is the same. The number is 205 964 Five two four three, and if you missed it at the very beginning, text the word "Gator" to that number to join us live and ask your questions. Okay, okay, okay. Let's jump right into this thing. I see you, Farron, Jean, BB, Sheila, Wooten. Thank you for joining us, Lila and Saul, Michael Fortones. I see you as well. A Bazaba eight, love you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Just her. Keep spreading that knowledge. All right, there you go. That's a 
good link up there. Um, 16 underscore Dink, Tasha Butler, Roberto, the capital Kimmy. I see you guys over there on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you. Go ahead and start posting your questions in the chat there. This is what we do here, guys. You post the questions. I read the questions and Ty will answer the questions. The beautiful Miss Renikia isn't with us tonight. Hopefully she will join us next week. Um, but if you do need to reach out to her, a member of her staff, you can go to fundmynextdeal.com. Again, that's fundmynextdeal.com. So, Michael, four tones. You get to be the first up. Batter up. Says, yo, 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 Flipman, I don't understand fear. I don't understand the fear I have towards getting started. Where would be a good starting point? Well, most people have fears because they um afraid that they're going to make mistakes or they think it's perfect. Um, but the great one of the great things, a lot of great things about uh, wholesale and real estate, and one of them is, is that uh, making mistakes normally doesn't put you out of business. And a lot of businesses making mistakes will put you right out of business. Whereas with this great learning experience, probably more valuable than anything that I can teach you. Um, but making mistakes doesn't put you out of business. So that's why most people, they think it has to be perfect in order for them to make money out of it. They, won't, they don't want to be embarrassed. You know what, Adrian? What? Embarrassment is what? Uh, like? I don't know. Free. Free. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Embarrassment is free, but it, 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 it uh, builds some experience. So to, to get rid of that uh, anxiety, I guess you would say, is the more you educate yourself on, on doing this, the more confident you should become. And just realize now the majority of the people that you speak with, you're going to know more than them about what you're trying to do, about real estate investing or just putting a deal together. Not saying you're smarter or better or anything, just on that particular topic, I guess technically you would be smarter or whatever, more informed, I guess is a better way of saying it. So um, just got to get out there and do it, man. Just understand, again, that the business boils down to generating daily leads. That is the name of the game, generating daily leads. Now, if you don't get that, you don't get anything. Just, you you got to say, hey, what fits me best? That's why we talk about banding signs, direct mail, cold calling, driving for dollars, text messaging, um, uh, whatever, uh, Facebook ad, Google AdWords, door knocking. All of those. Uh, that's why we talk about those. All right. Speaking of direct mail, this is coming from Sheila. Um, when sending out mail, are you using your home address as the return address? Well, um, you can get an address with uh, obviously the postal service, but um, you can use one of those services similar to the UPS store. They'll give you an actual physical address, even though it'll just be a box, but it'll be an actual physical address that you can use. Um, what are those costs? About 60 bucks. I mean, six, well, a $10 quarter. a month, something $10 like that. $10 a month, yeah, but yeah, you pay something about like that or whatever. Some of them are cheaper than that, depending yeah. on where you are and which one service you're using. So, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Jean Cherry, or either Jean, it could be Jean, Jean, Jean or Jean, um, says, I purchased the first list finally. So that's a very good thing. Congratulations to you. That's the first step. What are you going to do with that list? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, what you gonna do with it? Okay, um, so Queen Queen Dispatch um, wants to know how do you find investors slash funding? How do you find investors slash funding? Now those can be two different things. Investors, well, I guess she's saying investor for funding. They know what she's saying. She said investor slash funding. So maybe your buyers. Uh, well, buyers. Boom. <coughs> Text the word buyers. Got the answer for you on that. Um, as far as um, uh, funding, uh, there are going to be funding sources out there um, in most cases, and they're going to normally, if it's some, some form of private lending slash hard money, they still normally want you to come up with 20 to 30 percent down. So if it's just a hundred thousand dollar project, meaning the purchase, repair costs, all in, they're still going to want you to come up with 20 to 30 thousand dollars. Mm hmm. If that's not a hurdle for you, then the world is yours. There's going to be some individuals out there that would lend you the money. If you don't have that, then you're in the right place. Learn to wholesale. You can build that capital. And you probably get addicted to wholesaling. You won't want to go down that lane. Well, Low well, risk, high reward versus high risk, high reward. Okay. 
All right. Adonanak, um, hopefully I said that correct, says, I just joined. How much did I miss? You haven't missed much at all. You haven't missed mm -mm. nothing. Mm -mm. What, what? Missed my intro, which is uh, phenomenal. We've only been in nine minutes. Nine yeah. minutes and 46 seconds. Yeah. So you haven't missed anything. You're in the right place, though. Thank you for joining us. Um, Big Bony 5, I need help finding my first deal. Do you have any tips? Well, I think we just kind of answered that with the other questions. But um, first, making sure you educate yourself uh, consistently, and that helps you build your confidence. Um, but what do you have for that? Any specifics? Um, finding first deal. Um, they, he said in additional tips. No, he just said I need help finding my first deal. Oh, Do you yeah, have yeah, any I tips? Sort of went, I sort of yeah. broke that yeah. down. Mm -hmm. If you didn't hear it, if you, you can go back and watch the replay on uh, well, any of these platforms, but definitely a better experience on YouTube, I think. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm. Malcolm has been here every week. Well, you know, the weeks I missed, but he's been here that I've seen. He came on live with us three weeks ago. Okay. He says, hey, fam. So I finally did my first deal. Mm. Yay, but need something in place to have more traffic. How much should I spend to generate more leads? And what is the best way to get traffic to consistently um, do three a month? Um, what What's the best way to do? Uh, he said, how what, does he need? To, well, number one, how did you find that deal? Okay, because um, obviously it works. Yeah, obviously it works. So mm -hmm. you might want to throw some fire on that. Um, it just is going to still depend on uh, what works for you. Uh, what works for you as far as your um, uh, time, and now you got some resources. So um, didn't depend on the market you're in. Um, ideally, you may want to get some cold calling, cold calling, some text messaging, maybe some banner signs, a mixture of those into play. A um, couple hundred signs. Well, if you, it sounds like you made, I don't know how much you made. Did he say how much you made? No, he didn't. Okay. Um, I don't know. So uh, you can, I'm, I'm sure you made enough to buy 200 signs. That'll cost you between 350 to 450 shipped to you, right? Mm -hmm. $350 to 450 All right. So you could definitely do that. And so I would probably buy more, but definitely that amount. As far as the cold call and text messaging, you're talking about $500 to set that up. Or whatever so um that's it I, again i'd like to know what he did to find that deal that'll help okay um malcolm you can follow up and i will found it driving for dollars and he made fifteen thousand. oh look at there oh uh, malcolm text gator to the word and get the link and just come on and tell us about it really quick yeah. so you can ask well, those no, questions we're gonna, we're, we're gonna say that we're gonna say that we're gonna say that okay yeah, malcolm, we're gonna uh, say yeah that. you can join um you can uh you can join you can uh, hit me up if you want to tell you well i know you're not scared to be on online so you can uh hit me up yeah if you're interested in coming in and telling that um motivational stories uh telling the other listeners viewers what you did what steps especially if you did driving for dollar that's a, that's a nice that's a nice check malcolm um if you want to share your story um just text uh flip and we'll get that recorded and get you on but yeah still if you want to text gator we're not going to do the story tonight but you can tell us a little bit more about your deal but congratulations that's wild loving it that's one way to start 2022 um Let's see here. I'm going to jump right into this next question. Let's see here. And this is from Big Boy Music Group. Um, says, what's the process of wholesaling a house that the owner is deceased and all his kids want to sell and the house is not in probate? Okay. Uh, so all the kids, I was in the room. I was in there. Hmm. I was in the green, in the gator room. Hmm. Oh, you didn't see it? Okay. Um, yeah. Um, so he wants to know, um, all the kids want to sell and it's not in probate. There was no will. Is that what he said? Basically. Okay. What's the process? All right. So, so these were all the kids, all of them are alive. Mm, I don't know. That's all that, that's, we're going to assume that. Okay. We're so all of them are alive. They're on the same pay. They agreed to the same price. All right. Now I know in the state of Alabama may be different in your state. If that's the case, then air affidavits will take care of it. And basically here, 
Uh, if you can get two people non-related to the to to them, um, or definitely to the, uh, the to the deceased, that um, um, can it basically say that yeah, you are you are one of his siblings, and each one of them have to do that, right? Mm -hmm. So they get you know however many of them it in is. Florida. Uh, yes, I don't know. You have to check with a uh, title company or a closing attorney down there. So, but uh, yeah, that'll suffice as long as as long as they're on the same page, you can make something happen. Assuming it's a deal. All right. Um, yes, Jamal. Just text. Just text. Joseph Lee, you must be new. That means I'm glad you're here. Thank you. But I got something for you. I have exactly what you need. Joseph Lee says he needs a good purchase agreement. Boom. Curveball. Yeah, I mean, but you uh, weren't even ready. Softball. One red. Yeah, all you got to do, man. You, hey, obviously, this is your first experience with me. Uh, but I, I, I got you right here. Text to work contract. Not only you get access to this uh, for free as much as you want, I also show you in that video how to um, how to fill it out for sellers and buyers. And plus, I'll show you how to get it signed electronically real, really quickly through basically email. Text word Gator if you want to get your questions answered live. Get, live, get, Make sure your questions get answered and uh, get pushed to the front of the line. To the front. All right. Um, there she goes. Hello, Billion Dollar Diva. She says hello, everybody. And she is present. She is here. She is in the building. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to everyone else. If I missed you at the beginning of the show and you're just coming on, um, this is the place where you post those questions. I'll read the questions and Ty will answer your questions in regards to wholesaling real estate for little to no cash or credit. Now, the next question that typically comes along with that statement um, is, do I need any special license in order to do it? And that's exactly what this TikTok user has posted. So, what's that answer, Ty? Um, do you need a license to uh, to wholesale real estate? Uh, no, unless you're in the state of Illinois, they require you to have a broker's license, real estate broker's license, in the state of Kansas and Oklahoma currently that I'm aware of, require you to have a real estate license. Now, there's a method around that. Um, I need to just do a short video of what people can text and. Um, and um, uh, I give them the answer, don't I? Yeah, yeah, that. I, yeah. I just need to do that. Yeah. I, um, I'm not gonna go through it because that only really affects three states. So right, we well, got more than one. So I'm, I'm just that's what I'm gonna do. All right, <laughs> Sean Stanley, you say you're on break at the hospital watching. That's what's up. Um, yeah, same at last night watching you the same as last night for a little while. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, that's thank you. Up. Find it. See, that's finding time. That's oh, yeah. finding time. On, on, on their dime. On, yeah. Yes, on yes, yes. On their dime, trying to make a dime. Okay. This is from Larita Charmaine. That's a beautiful, oh, did I say beautiful with the R? I did. I said beautiful. It was a beautiful name. Um, she Sell says, <laughs> hey, I have a seller that wants to do seller finance instead of wholesaling. Mm -hmm. um, can seller financing be a good deal if I do a sandwich lease? option yeah if the terms are favorable most definitely ideally you want to get terms where you put as little money down and it can uh, possibly cash flow um based on you uh some you pay, pay uh, placing a renter or a tenant buyer into the property um now you can set up favorable terms that you may not want to uh be a part of that deal outside of just getting paid to assign it over to someone else so at two angles you can you can take there, but yeah, most definitely. Okay, um, this is from. Ooh, I be forgetting which one of these these days is. One of the two. Right. Uh, what's this one? That's Instagram. Instagram. That's yeah. exactly. I will yeah. get that in order one day. I okay. I see. Oh, I see what you did. Okay, so Instagram. This is from Instagram for forever. No pressure. Wants to know what formula can I use to find the ARV fast. It's, it's not really a formula to find the ARV. I think you're com confusing uh, the formula. Fo formula, ARV is a part of that, along with repairs. Now, this video here is going to show you that, and I have a calculator that allows you to uh, a free calculator that allows you to figure out the numbers fast. Text the letters GD for that video. Okay, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, Mayi, me, Marshall, text the word Gator to the number 205-964-5243 to join us live. I see that you're joining us from Facebook. Thank you. And Tierra Pierce, hey, fam, you're coming from YouTube. Okay, um, I'm taking the next one. Wake up, wake up. So JG and Lightning says, I've been looking at on-market properties and contacting agents. Do you think I could find a good deal this way? So we're going to not say it's impossible, but you're taking a, a hard route. What do you say? Oh, yeah. Uh, when you, could, um, um, you, could, you could fly to New York. You could drive to New York. Or you can, you can ride a horse to New York. You can walk to New York from Atlanta. We're just going to use that as a de the starting destination. So which one is that dealing with a real estate agent in the scheme of these, you think? You can walk, ride a horse, drive, or fly. Are we riding the horse? Uh, I'd probably say you're driving a car. Really? Yeah, I, I would say you're driving a car. I'd say the horse is even slower. Well, you know what? Uh, yeah. yeah. Hell, walking. A anything in between a horse and a, and a, and a, and a, and a car? Ah! Probably the great, Greyhound. Okay. We're gonna go with the Greyhound. Okay. So okay. you're probably on the Greyhound. Out of those choices, the the, the degree of difficulty, you know. So, so I'm trying to give you a, a visual. The mm -hmm. degree of difficulty of, of going through, especially for a newbie. Mm -hmm. so for going to is you got you can walk to New York from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You can ride a horse mm -hmm. to New York, New York from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You can ride a Greyhound bus mm -hmm. to New York, or you could. What I said, drive fly, fly. your own vehicle or fly. Or fly. You're on the Greyhound. You're on the Greyhound. Not the worst, but not the best. Definitely. You, you're moving. You're moving. You're making some stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you're okay. You're making you some progress. You, you can't control whether it's cool or hot, who sit by you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know? Okay. Hey. Uh, okay. Okay. We're going to work on the analogies, but okay. Uh, that, that one good. That one good. That, that, that just uh, it was, off the dome. Uh, it, yeah, that was wonderful. Okay. I don't think I got enough head space when I move up a foot tilt. The, the well, thing. it just oh, well, yeah, it just, just must have slipped back down. Yeah, no, no, it didn't. It didn't. That's cool. I see that. That's good right there. That wasn't That's where good. it was. I checked it before we started. Thank you very much. Okay, Miss Mia Marshall. Um, okay, I'll read this. I have a deal under my belt. But that's a big but. Need a quiet title action, mm. and I'm having a difficult time finding a real estate attorney to complete the transaction. Can you point me in the right direction in Georgia? So most definitely, no. There's attorneys in Georgia that. Well, yeah, I would them. probably just reach out to maybe a title company and mm -hmm. see. Uh, you may have to reach out to a couple of them see if they can recommend anyone that does quiet titles because they're the ones that have to be okay with you know that that. Um, that trail or whatever. They'll mm -hmm. see it went from a quick claim deed, you know, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so they'll probably have a recommendation on that. Also, you can uh, join, I don't, I don't promote this enough, my group, uh, Facebook group, text the word group, and uh, that'll allow you to uh, get into the uh, Facebook group, at least to uh, um, apply for it. It's from a private group. But well, uh, if so you post your question, yeah, if you apply for the, um, I mean, if you uh, post a question in the group, uh, someone should help, or you can just post that question in in a local group to uh, where you're located, or the state of Georgia, or wherever. You know, someone should be able to recommend something. Okay. Power of social media and networking. It does have some, some positives. Okay. That Facebook group that he just mentioned, guys. Yes, most definitely joining. Great resource. Um, thousands and thousands and thousands of people that are in that group that you can partner with. Uh, maybe even find uh, wholesalers in your area. But it's wholesaling real estate with the Flipman. Wholesaling real estate with the Flipman. I'm a member. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Going right into. Our next question. Where did I let today? I wonder if the weather bad. It was not a lot. Can I laugh on? Okay. Kay Davis, we're talking about marketing here. Um, and they want to know, does a sign on my car work? Um, the sign with state, I buy houses. All right. They want to know, does signage on their vehicle work? Uh, I'm going to always side on doing something, right? And that's doing something. Um, but you know, you can always do something better. So the placement of the sign is, um, is, is, is very important in my opinion. 
A lot of people, they'll just buy the magnets and they normally go on the doors on the side. Okay, that's fine. But if you're in traffic on the freeway, uh, driving 75, 70 miles an hour, it's very difficult for someone to be, you know, passing you or driving right by you and see that message and be able to know what it is. But if you put the message in the rear of your vehicle, such as your window, then you force them to see your message in, mo in a lot of cases, whether they want to see it or not. It's called window perf. You can just go with just lettering or you can do the entire window cover or a portion of it it's called window perf. Most sign companies uh, will do that. Or you can, depending on what type of vehicle you have, you may just do a magnet on it. Um, it just some uh, areas on some vehicles in the rear are not magnetic and it may not be a wide enough space. Like on some SUVs, it may fit perfect with a magnet or something versus the window. But uh, you, you'll be able to figure that out, that part of it out. But the window would be just definitely ideal because that'll, that'll work for anyone in, on any type of vehicle. So, and the way you think about it, some people say, why would you put that on your car? Well, that one deal may pay for that car and 10 more like it. Boom. That's enough reason right there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What? Me? Mm-hmm. What is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 yes, you said yes, mm -hmm. I like that one. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't even explain it. Okay, um, so. Why are you, you can't do a social media. You gotta do, okay. I'm looking at this, making sure I'm reading and seeing what they're talking oh, about okay. so I can promote it and talk about that in the videos that's up and it's other stuff like that. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, okay, so Michelle Reed. Mm. <laughs> Says, hey, Flipman, I'm filtering my list on PropStream, a.k.a. Deal You Later, and I'm not getting thousands, not even hundreds. Is this a good or not so good thing? Well, now, I, what are your filters, uh, Michelle? That's what I would need to know, because it, depending on what, what you're filtering can reduce the number of leads it produce on the list. And if you want to know how to build lists, Text the word list. I don't have a card for it, but text the word list, L I S T, to the 205 964 5243. And that video will show you how to build a list that you can use for cold calling, text messaging, or direct mail. You, could, you can make use the same list for all three or a combination of that. Okay, this is from the man. And he's in the Bay Area the Bay. and wants to know, can I still find a off-market deal by putting written notes on people's homes that look distressed to see if I could buy them? Uh, going back to what I said earlier, I'm going to always side on something, but be prepared for people to call you and give you a little piece of their mind. They may use a couple of four-letter words. How many? Uh, three letters. What is what, what we got? Seven, eight letter, mm -hmm. ten letter. One of them, yeah. The 13 uh, hitting that's, words. That's, that's 13? No, I'm just saying it's 13 words. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's, there's 13 plus words? The, I mean, technically, there's plenty of them, but the, the 13, ones, the, the, yeah. The known. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, but um, I don't know if that would be the most efficient uh, use of your time. But again, I'm going to always side on doing something versus nothing. Okay. Um, Betty Rice wants to know, how much is the adjustment price on square feet and major roads? Um, I'm, what, what, how does that do? Uh, I think it's 10000 Subtract. I think. If you, if you take some, and I don't have it set up, but the people are going to do it. If you text 101, uh, the comp and rules that Jamil uh, designed, I did a, a a version, a graphic version of my own, then you can um, uh, text and get a copy of that. I'll send it to you. I don't, I don't have the keyword set up, but I'll send it's it. 101. To, just 101, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on the screen there. For those of you on Facebook, YouTube, um, it's on the screen there. Mm -hmm. And for TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and everything else, um, just the letters 101. 101. All right. Um, John Tez says, can I use, can using a title company in a different city to do closing or should it be local? 
Um, you can use a different, you know, it just depends on if they got that network to make that happen. They got the resources to make that happen. Normally it's in the same city. It doesn't have to just have to be, but normally it's in the same market. Let me just say that. Okay. All right. Oh, what's up, Shaq? What up, Doe from Westside Detroit? Thank you for joining us. Yes, yes. I'm one of our faithful listeners, subscribers. Oh, yes, has been here for a minute. So thank you for joining us, Shaq. Good to see you in the chat. Um, guys, don't forget that you can join us live by texting the word Gator, G A. T-O-R to the number 205-964-5243. Keep posting those questions in the chat box as of right now. I've read all of the questions that are in there. Um, really? I think, yeah, I think the weather has people down. Yeah, those two. Yeah, so what uh, about the, oh. now the title and topic of this particular flip is, can you wholesale houses in a bad neighborhood? So Yes, I might well go into it. Yeah, that's I'll that's why it. I was. I might well rip it. Okay, so, all right, so can you wholesale houses in a bad neighborhood. Now, the word "bad neighborhood" is just you is is a title. It's clickbait, basically, right? Um, so, uh, normally in the in the real estate investment world, they'll identify that as the war zones, which is a negative term, uh, just as bad is you know, because you got people there, people just trying to survive like they are anywhere else. Obviously, some things go down a little more than others, but at the end of the day. Especially in the urban, you know, heavily populated uh, metro areas, um, in those so-called neighborhoods, uh, people still got to pay rent, or they're paying a mortgage, or they're paying nothing, right? Right. Okay, so if they're paying nothing. We'll assume they own it free and clear. Okay, so the people that are paying rent, they're oh, paying. Oh, I thought rent. you meant like subsidized nothing. Uh, <laughs> that too. Uh, I'm sorry, that too. Like okay. negative rent, as they say. Um, that too. But the people that are paying rent, they're paying rent to somebody. And normally that's an investor. Right. So you got people investing. If people are paying a mortgage, that house was sold to them by some someone. In a lot of cases, it was a flipper. Okay, so you're going to have investors that invest in those areas if it's heavily populated, period. You know, you got apartment complexes, you got, obviously you got houses, depending on the market. Um, you know, you're going to have townhouses in, in mass numbers. So the check's going to still spend the same. If I had to just put a percentage on, I've probably done more, ain't no problem. I've done more deals in those so-called neighborhoods than the other. Uh, part of it is, uh, for me, a lot of those houses are free and clear. Because in most cases, in, in most markets, those are the lower priced houses and they just normally are not as leveraged with mortgages in the, in the C, or I can just call that a D neighborhood and the C, B and A neighborhoods. Because so the opportunities are there. Now, some of y'all may not be comfortable. You never, may or never dealt in, in neighborhoods like that. That's fine. I get it. It is what it is. You, you, we can't go bound what we don't know. Some of it's perception versus reality. Uh, like my folks, um, well, well, they don't get the news from Birmingham because it's too far. But like the news that my folks get, um, like the town I'm from is less than a thousand. So the next largest town is Mobile, Alabama, you know, maybe a half a million metro, something like that. Right. And so they see the news every night. You know, you don't have robberies, murders and all that stuff. So one of my older brothers lives there. And in and, and, and their mind, where I'm from, which is virtually no crime, right? Mm -hmm. They just can't believe you live in a place like that because they just watch the news because that's the news that they get, right? Mm -hmm. But when you, not like I live in, a, I guess you would consider in a city or urban area, you don't really deal in those activity. I mean, those, you, you just don't deal in it. Not, it, can, it can always come to you anywhere. I don't care where you live. But obviously, the, the, just the odds, we're just saying the odds, the numbers are higher in certain areas versus others. Mm -hmm. And so for them, that perception is, well, how can you do that? So same thing with real estate. You got some investors, they just won't fool in those because they're not comfortable with those areas. You got some of them that love it because they can, especially on the rental side of the business, they, you can cash flow really well in a lot of situations. So they they don't trip. It's just all about it's all about management at that point. 
Can you manage the properties? Can you manage that portfolio? Obviously, you can hire companies to do that for you. And some companies are better at managing those type of properties or in those areas versus others. Some are not good at it at all. And a lot of times it's a trial and error era if you're using a management company to, to, to uh, manage uh, rental properties for you. Okay, but so at the end of the day, the answer is yes. You know, the check still spends the same, period. I don't know if I got that out, but the check still spends the same, whether it's in, quote, unquote, an A neighborhood, a D neighborhood, C, B. These are still just people just trying to make it, right? Mm -hmm. um, part of that is, again, is paying rent, paying a mortgage. So that means some opportunity is there, especially if it's a large number of people living in those areas. We have to have shelter, and it's not free in most cases. So there's going to be opportunity. Again, it's not for everybody to delve in that, but um, thank God I've been, you know, I've had no issues, period. And I'm over there in neighborhoods and just all over, really, but all the time. You know, so okay. people, just, people just trying to make it, man. Yeah. I think you you haven't said it in a while, but uh, you used to say it quite a bit. And it's just it's just factual that. You oh, know, it's every, a step up. Every every house is a step up for someone. Every house is a step up hey, for someone. The great, the, the late great Don Williams, the the the, the one that um, indirectly got me inspired to even get into real estate. Uh, if any of you all know my story, I'll just give you the beginning part of it. The way I got interested in real estate is uh, well, first of all, I like to think that I'm an entrepreneur first, and real estate is just one of the methods I make money. It was the first method I ever made any real money. And one of my friends and his now wife were going to real estate school to become realtors. All right. And the guy that normally taught the class wasn't there. The substitute that replaced him that evening, he didn't talk about and uh, being a real estate agent. He talked about investing in real estate and <clears throat> investing in real estate and creative ways of investing in real estate with no money. His name was Don Williams. He had a Saturday class once a month. Was it once a month? Or every every Saturday. I think it was once a month. And, you know, he taught his uh, owner financing class. And one of, one of his very first statements going through his process was that every house is a step up for someone. He said, if you don't believe that, give me the, give me the deed or ownership to the, the worst house in Birmingham, and trust me, I could go downtown under one of those bridges, overpasses, and someone would be glad to take the keys to it. Mm -hmm. Where Oprah lives is a dump for Elon Musk. It ain't good enough. It that. ain't good enough. I ain't gonna say that. They they right there. Well, I'm like, they right to there. a point where I, you just well, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to make a ridiculous analogy. Well, you know what? It is a dump because he belongs on Mars. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, he's doing Mars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's in space. He don't want to shoot him no way. It's a dump for him, <laughs> relatively speaking. Yeah, I get you. It's a dump for him. Okay, now Oprah, um, who I can use. Um, I'm using some uh, celebrity. Um. um who I can use? Um, I don't know. Well, Kevin Hart lives may not be good enough for Oprah. He ain't quite there yet. Like you, you know what I'm saying? saying? But you ain't there. It, it ain't good enough. I'm just trying to use people that most people recognize. Now, but, but now, you, where Kevin Hart lives, and I don't know. Uh, Tiffany, okay. we'll, we'll go with uh, who, who I need to go with. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm trying to go down where people know still still celebrity, but go down. Oh, um, no, because they're all kind of. Now I think uh, when you, what, listen, I, think when you to... I think when you get to that point is not even where you stay because they can. Kevin can probably stay in the well, same neighborhood. Well, 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 it's well, how many well, places you have to stay. Well, well, well yeah, that, that too. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you enough. know, you get to, yeah. for to me. If I got a hundred million dollars, yeah, there's nothing Oprah can do I can't do. In my mind. That's yeah. the way my lifestyle gonna be. In your mind. Well, really, if I got ten million, ain't nothing she can do that I feel like that I really want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't. I can't buy no jet. You know what I'm saying? I can fly on one all the time. A private jet. I'm talking about. Okay. She can have buy three, four, five, six, a whole garage. Go if you had a garage, you have a garage. But so, so I, but, but your point is, once you get to a certain level of money, what else can you buy? 
It ain't nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it what else can you live to buy? It ain't nothing else. Now you get into some weird stuff. Mars. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you done ran you out. Live, like you can live on Mars. Now you get into some weird stuff. You done ran out. Or whatever. Out. So anyway, I'm, 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 how do we get on that? Oh, we were oh. talking about oh, but the bad neighborhood. Yeah, yeah the bad neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if that's a good or not. Y'all know I'm always trying to come I told up you with you something. Gonna work on but it's just to be on the fly, so it always don't it always don't work. <laughs> I, I told you we're gonna we are going we are going to work yeah. on that. They get the point though. Uh huh. It's yeah. off the dome. It's it's fresh. It's original. <laughs> Okay, so guys, that was the uh, title of today's flip. So hopefully that answered. If you had a question on that, it can be done. It has been done and it will continue to be done because a home is always a step up for someone yeah. else. Yeah, every house is a step every up for someone. Every house is a step up for someone. It needs to be a t-shirt. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah, you haven't had any t-shirts in a while. I can't get the t-shirt person. To do you know, that. I've had. You know what? I got you. I'm, I got you. I'm in a good I spot now. Need some fresh stuff. Got right? some fresh gear coming. Yeah. Okay, Joseph Lee joining us from YouTube is in Mississippi. Hey, got the got the, got the in in house. Pro, yeah, uh, it, yes, everything I need is manufacturing right going yeah. on. I can't what? get it. Keep calling me out. <laughs> we ain't talking about me. We talking about Joseph and his question. <laughs> Who's in Mississippi? Um, he says, I have a contract with the seller and I'm trying to sell. I have not signed the contract yet. Now, am I doing this wrong? I also have quite a few buyers interested, but most of them want to. Uh, OK, here it is. Owner finance and I'm unable to get a loan to be able to do owner finance. OK, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, stop, yeah, stop, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different things going on here because yeah. it, it's not right. OK, let's unpack this. I am in Mississippi. I have a contract with the seller. Got that. So you have a, has a deal. I'm trying to sell. I have not signed the contract yet, but you just said you had a contract. Am I doing this wrong? Okay. Then I have, I also have quite a few buyers interested. Well, how do the buyers even know about it if you haven't got the contract? Might have told okay. Like, but most of them want to own their finance and I'm unable to get a loan to be. Okay. So let's, let's unpack it backwards. Owner financing, no loan required. That's not how that works. The owner, yeah, the owner is the finance bank. is just what it says. The owner is the financing. owner is going to finance it. They're going to act as the bank. You're going to pay them directly. There's no bank needed. So you don't need a loan for that. Okay. Got that part. Now, as far as you say you have a contract with the seller, but you haven't signed the contract. So you've agreed with the price with the seller, is the way I'm taking it. Well, well it sounds like that for I just not to take it over from you, but Go it ahead. sounds like they want too much. That's why the buyers are off one to do owner financing. Your numbers don't oh, okay. work for a cash wholesale deal, is the issue. That's oh, why okay. they're suggesting owner financing on it. Okay. Okay. Um, Lee, if you want to come back and uh, clear that up or join us live to ask, I, I'm not really sure what the question was in there. Um, and we can clean that up a little bit. Sean Stanley says, I see you, Ty. Marlon Reed says, Hey, Ty, thanks. Um, so thank you guys for joining us as well. Let's go take it over here to TikTok and Slimify99 says, What do you say to a seller who won't go lower on his price at all? Can I call you in a couple of months to see if you've changed your mind? Bye. Um, yeah, if they if they if they won't budge, you know, just you know, just thank them for that time and let them know if anything changes um to give you a call back. Now, uh you can't counter. Um you have to render the number and say, Well, um, that price that you're asking as a cash deal doesn't work for us. Would you would you consider terms? Would you consider owner financing? And that's basically where they're going to act at the bank and you're going to make payments to them. So now you have to, you know, set up, you know, favorable terms for you and them, obviously. Um, ideally, you want to set up terms where you can put as little to no money down and you want something that will allow you to cash flow, um, depending on what the rental income is in that area. Not saying that that's how you have to liquidate it. No, I was just no, looking. I don't. Yeah, you don't do it. No. Oh. I, okay, guys, just the little offshoot side conversations. I was looking at Ty's shoe. Ty has a really, you know, good shoe game. Not like, I'm not talking like Jordans or anything no, like no, that. I'm just talking really, like shoe really game. Like it's probably before. like a different pair every other week. But yeah, the shoes he got on right now, I don't like them. They ugly. Just putting it on record. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Did you finish? Yeah, I finished. <laughs> Next question. J Rise 2010 um, says, Hello. And do you give training? Ain't no need to look at them. No, I don't. Mm-mm. Okay. Well, I like it fine. <laughs> He wants to know, and he or she, I'm sorry, do you give training on how to move your list from prop stream to skip to flip, then to text to flip? Yes, sir, I do. Bam! Yeah, right there. To text the word text. Text, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. Text. Yeah, I got it. Go ahead. Um, so J Ross, uh, just text the word text T E X T to two zero five nine six four five two four three, and you'll get some instructions on how to do exactly what you're asking. Thank you for that question. You probably help someone else out as well. Um, guys, we don't talk about it enough, but if you want to add to your chest of tools for wholesaling real estate, dealulator.com is the place to go. Dealulator.com. Um, AKA PropStream. It is a tool that is a subscription. You can text the word tool to that number, watch but that the video. Can, watch the video. If you do subscribe, um, you do have a five day period uh, of a free trial period to see if you like it. it Make sure you utilize you. all that. And then after that, if you continue with the service, you can text the word time to the number on your screen as well. Again, for y'all, just lock that number into your phone because there's plenty of text and keywords that you can send to that. Um, but text time and then you'll get a 30 minute one on one instructional on how to use dealulator.com so you can take advantage of all the features that are in there. It's also available in app form as well. It is a wonderful tool to have in your chest for wholesaling real estate. Once you get it and actively use it, you'll love it and wonder why you never had it to begin with. But you can find that at dealulator.com or either just text the word tool, T-O-O-L, to 205-964-5243. Oh, like that radio voice, don't you? Yeah, good. <laughs> um, Jean, yeah, or Jean, what is the Perfect easiest for, way for podcast? The tone, it's level, it doesn't fluctuate a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I have to get the gap in there, yeah. throw a little funny here yeah, or there. Like that yeah. Day, yeah. It? That's that girl six, they don't know what girl six is. <laughs> 1 800 girl six. <laughs> Okay, so what is the easiest way to get the homeowner's phone number? Um, they have a list they want to work on in the morning. So skip tracing would be. Yeah, um, just text the word. Um, yeah, just text the word skip for that. All right. So what's up? What's up? What's up? Angelo Gonzalez, our first person to join us tonight. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? Oh. Oh, how you doing? I'm well. Where are you calling from? I'm from New York, but I'm upstate right now, like nearby Canada. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, let me just turn on the lights. Okay. How you doing? There you go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> there you go. What's happening, man? So I had a couple questions that I wanted to ask you here. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm trying to start my real estate venture here, but I was thinking of starting off with an FHA loan and getting a, a rental property because I had a couple of clients asking me that they needed a couple properties off uh, after college. Okay. All right. Now, okay. So uh, you're saying you, you want to uh, use a loan to purchase a property and rent out to them. Yeah, I want to start off like so when I when I talked to one of my friends that was a real estate, she was telling me that instead of uh, trying to find like hard money lenders, just try to do it yourself with the bank. All right. OK, so I'm not sure who you were speaking with, but um, the the, the uh, um, well, a couple things. All right. So uh, dealing with a lender. All right. So. Um, I'm assuming your credit is good to even be talking about that. Yeah, like seven, uh, 750, 780. Okay, you good. All right. So um, <laughs> now FHA normally wants you to to live in the property. So if it's going to be a duplex, that, four yeah, that that was wait. the goal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, then yeah, that would be that would be something you definitely can do. And I and I see a lot of videos out there. People put that out there or whatever. Um, 
to, to me, I don't know if that's the best leverage of your credit, though. Because once you lock that in, then now your debt to ratio is going to be that or whatever. So um, and that particular balance, whatever that is, if I were you um, with that uh, type of credit, um, I would leverage it to try to, to number one, you know, I'm a, I'm a wholesaler. Right. So yeah. but the reason is and Tomorrow, let me I get know a, how to do other parts of real estate, but I'm just pen saying pen the return on it, the return on investment is just so astronomical and low risk compared to other things, right? Yeah. Now, ideally, what what your friend was telling you, ideally, what you want to do is quote unquote the bird met method. You want to buy the property, renovate. I've heard, it, yeah, I've heard of the bird method. Rent it, refinance it, and then repeat. Right, that's ridiculous because you can pull cash cash out of it. Yeah. Right, ideally, that's that's what you want to do if you're going to go down that road and you have the resources to do it or whatever. So, um, but you know that that's one of the great thing about real estate the uh, the the ways that you can make money with it is endless. Yeah, definitely, most most definitely. It, I also had a question because I I was think um, right now I'm in Plattsburgh, close to Canada, but I I was also thinking of moving out to new jersey and i wouldn't like do you know any like kind of like tips around there like i don't well, really it, know see, it really, it re at, at the end of the day um you need to be in a market where there's enough people right yeah. and my definition of that is in at least in an area of two hundred and fifty thousand in population uh greater area a metro area is ideal to eat consistently um, that, that's what I recommend. So if that's okay. if that part of New Jersey that you're considering moving to, um, meets that criteria, then yeah, most definitely. But at the end of the day, it's still going to boil down to you generating leads to find great deals. And that's why I talk about all I, I don't things. think I, I'll, I'll have problems with leads cause, just because of the fact that I, I do other businesses where I've like right now I'm more of like a social worker with other people. So like, I'm trying to just collecting people who are like for when they like, it's like an app. I don't know how to like, cause right now we're, we're, we're starting an app right now where it's for people that just graduated college. So like, let's say like you just find a job, you just found a job. So like, like after you find your job, like we'll, we'll have like a, a list of people that after you like graduated near your job, we can uh, find a home for you. Ah, I, I got you. That's it. Okay. That's nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're also trying to do it for uh, for um for healthcare and for the homeless too, but it's it's kind of con a lot of contracts and mad other bull like craziness. I got you. Okay. Well, hey man, sounds like um you you, you uh got it figured out, but yeah, that, that, any of that that you that we discussed will work. You know, in my opinion, some of them a little better, easier than others to make the money, but you know, it's totally up to you, my man. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Uh, no problem. I, I really appreciate you join, joining us on this live stream. Thank, Thank you. you. Good uh, luck, good, Angelo. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you, Angelo, for joining us. You two still have a little time where you can join us live. Um, and for all of our listeners, subscribers, all of that good stuff, as if it's your business, that's the username, not me being smart, um, wants to know what, what's it? What is it? As if it's your business. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the question was, they were curious as to how many deals the commenters on your live have done, hoping you are making their paper stack really deep. Big ups, big ups, big happy face. So y'all let her know. Yeah, in the chat box right there in the message group, just type in, just say I've done a deal. Do a thumbs up or do a money bag. Put the money bag if you've done a deal and you've been successful with it. I don't care whether you made five hundred dollars or whether you like homie Malcolm that made fifteen k. Um, just put a money bag. Let as if it's your business, because as if it's your business. Mm. Let them know that you've done a deal. Um, this thing is real, guys. It's not easy. That's the wrong word to use, but it is, it's not easy, but it's what? Um, it's simple. It's simple. It's simple. It's a simple process, but it does take consistency on that, uh, on your part to make sure that you're getting the deals done. Um, let's see here. Uh, JJ Jones says, what if you have a VA calling 
and she is making 25 hours of calls for the last six weeks, but no good leads. 25 hours over six weeks. Mm -hmm. So that, what is that? That's only like four hours a week, right? Right. A little over four hours a week. Um, six into 25 is four, right? Making 25 hours of calls. Yeah, I guess 25 hours over the six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a lot. That's okay. not a lot. It's a good start, but that's not good a start, lot. Good start, not a lot? Yeah, that's not okay. a lot. If, if we understand the question correctly, yeah, that's not a lot. Okay. Um, let's see here. It would be great if we could, you, you could get the question, you could have them all in one place. Oh, it's fine. I'm good the way I am. Okay. I guess we move around. Yeah, uh, all good. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, Dove Benzo, a DVE Benzo um, from... Instagram says, do you advise to start off wholesaling or this, or is this a good idea to start off? Yeah, wholesaling is an excellent place to start, don't you think? Uh, I think it's the only place to start. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you have the money or don't, meaning, you know, money to do other things, whether you have the credit or don't. Because what wholesaling will do for you as a real estate investor is teach you how to find great real estate deals. That is where the money is. If you can consistently find great real estate deals, you never have to be broke. Like never. You won't ever lose that. Even if you gravitate to fixing and flipping or building rent rental for, you know, uh, doing rental income or to commercial or whatever, you won't ever lose that mindset. You're always uh, you, in most cases, we all make mistakes, and we get sometimes uh, what's the word um, uh, complacent, mm -hmm. or what's the word uh, yeah. when you like um, like like you're dealing with somebody and you get not comfortable, bored, comfortable, not bored. Um, I would go with complacent. I like that. Uh, complacent, but what's another word like complacent? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You know? But anyway, so uh, but anyway. Uh, my point is, start out wholesaling. That teaches you the business of finding great deals. That's the that's where the money's made in the great deal, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. On top of that, you can learn the business, make money. It's low risk, high rewards. There's nothing you would do in real estate that I could think of with the return on investment like wholesaling. Okay. Spend a hundred dollars. Make fifteen thousand. I don't know what other business you can do that in. You well, obviously you can do that with a stock or something like that. Um, you know, it could explode on you or something, or you know, NFT or some crypto or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Other than that, now that's like playing a lottery though, in, in essence, for for most people. Gotcha. You don't have to be a lottery winner to do this. You don't have to. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that extreme, by no means. Okay. Um, Malcolm, you can just text that number as well. Just put your name in there. You can text 205-964-5243. Throw your name in there and we'll schedule a time to get you on and get it recorded about your deal. Oh, yeah. Um, most yeah. Just, just text that number, Malcolm. We'll be looking for uh, your text. Just throw your name in there, please. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So from Instagram, King Cut says, I've been trying to get started buying and holding, but it's becoming obvious great deals are hard to come by because of greedy wholesalers in my area. So what are the best ways to generate my own leads? Well, if the wholesalers are doing, maybe well, with those wholesalers. No, it ain't the greedy wholesalers. Wholesalers will hold the wholesaler to you what them, a wholesaler can only be effective if they're finding great deals. It's okay if if you're get if your end game is to buy rentals, a wholesaler is going to be one of your main sources of a deal. They they don't if, if the wholesale know what they're doing, they a lot of don't know what they're doing now. The, the numbers normally going to work, it, like really work. I'm not sure what now. If you're trying to, if you want to get it at what the wholesale is getting it at, then you that what's the difference? What, they're no smarter than you are. What what are they doing different than you? What you're doing, or uh, what you 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 can do? Let me. I don't know what you're doing, but what you can do. Those deals out there for you to get them too. Okay. Now, in speaking with that, Joe Gang has a good question. I, I wonder what somebody's going to ask. I guess you think about it like this, but you got one minute to answer. You can't go on a tangent. 
Okay. Okay. If everyone is pulling the same leads in a city, how does everyone succeed? Timing. Yeah. One and word. that's why it's important to make sure you live in a big enough city. And that's why you live in a big enough city. So wholesale. There, there's right. no way. Everybody ain't pulling the same list. No, you don't Number know what one. list and I'm even pulling. even if they are, it's still about timing. It's Let's about the follow-up. Right? It's, about it's the still lead. about okay. timing. Mm -hmm. Today, when Tyrone called him or mm -hmm. text messaged him, hey, life was good. Yeah. When you call him in three months, same person. Hey, my wife don't want me no more. And she, she, my name is on this house. Her name is not on the house. I'm going to sell it before it gets tied up in this divorce. Timing, man. Life. Timing and life. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay. They see your band is signed today. Oh, it, it doesn't register. Two months ago, two months ago, two months go past. Now they see my band is signed in the same, on the same pole or stop sign or whatever yours on. Cause you didn't put them out anymore because you gave up. Guess what? They lost their job in that time frame. Now we need to, hey, bills coming. We need to liquidate something. We got them liquidated quick. All right. Okay. Follow up. I called you, but you didn't. Timing, answer. life, follow up. Yeah. Maybe it should go life, timing, follow up. Life, timing, follow up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can go with that. That was a good question, though, Joe. I, I like that because I'm sure a lot of people like it. Like, hey, I'm in Atlanta. You're in Atlanta. We all in the metro. We all pulling the list. There's no way we can all tackle the same people. You know, there's, there's hey, look, it's, hey. it's, it's, it's just impossible. They call it in the in the in the uh, fast food uh, restaurant where they call it clustering. Don't you ever wonder why you'll see a McDonald's, a Burger King, Wendy's. a Wendy's? Because they already know that there's enough people there for everybody mm -hmm. to eat. Yeah. Not the ones that ask a customer, meaning them as businesses to eat. Right. It's not and, then, on the and, boat. Then, and then you can have a purple onion, which is a mom and pop operation in the middle of those. And they can eat too. And, and still getting down. Mm -hmm. Doing just as much as business they, they're doing. All right. All right. Um, in that, we were talking about the bandit signs. So free bands um, wants to know, how would I go about bandit signs? So you can. Uh, just text me on it. I'll send it over. I'll send okay. it over to him. Yeah. Just text me. We'll send you the information for that free band. So put bandit, B-A-N-D-I-T, bandit signs. Not banner. Not banner. Bandit. You know, he probably right in his comment um, to the number. And we'll give you the information on who to call and how to get a small discount and get you some signs ordered. Um, and there are plenty of videos on YouTube about where to place them, what maybe they should look like. So just follow that yeah, as well. Yeah, just do Flip Man Ride Along Bandit Signs. Just do Flip Man and Bandit Signs. It's probably going to be, it's going to be a couple of videos there. One, one of them is a demo uh, video about actually out there in the street showing you how to place those babies. Okay. Um, let's see here. All right, Instagram, y'all loading up. Y'all loading up. Okay, so... When would you recommend a double closing? And this is from Thinking Works. Thinking Works. I like that. Mm -hmm. well, they, 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 they got some serious names, man. Yeah, hey, Y'all know I copy my ad. You know what? What off now? Hey, I, I, I told somebody told me, no, you're not copying. Mm -hmm. You're inspired. Yeah, the greatest form of flattery oh, is yeah, copy. Yeah. I mean, people don't see it that way, but obviously I like Most them, stuff no, happens reason. because yeah. someone built a better mousetrap. The math trap was built. Somebody else say, well, maybe if we, instead of using uh, this clip, we use this clip and make trap them faster. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so everybody, you know, hey, you built a mouth trap, but I can make a better one. Okay. Something you didn't think of. So what was the question? Um, when would you recommend a double closing? Hold on. As if it's your business, go ahead and uh, text the word Gator so you can get that link in. Join us um, before we close out. Uh, go ahead and come on with us. Um, so when would you recommend a double closing? Okay. Now, I never do them, right? Right. But when most people do them, they do them because they think their assignment fee is too big and they want to hide it from either the seller or the buyer or both. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Right. So on the seller side, <laughs> you are getting what we agreed upon. Correct. I'm, they, they know I'm not doing this for free. 
Well, so what's the acceptable amount? There's okay. never going to be one. Who's going to agree? <laughs> no, who, gets to who gets to determine that? No, no, no. What, yeah, what's the acceptable amount for me to make? Obviously, to the seller, less than what they're making, less than what they and ask normally for. it is. Yeah, like significantly less. Yeah, but sometimes you find that 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 golden Every nugget, now and again, that yeah. golden nugget. Every now and again. And then but, the buyer. Now, and on the buyer side, oh, that's real easy. Now, that's the easy side. Yeah. They they better not let me know they're tripping about it. That's someone I don't want to deal with anymore. If you are dealing with a buyer that doesn't see you as an asset to their operation to help them make money, you are dealing with an idiot. When a wholesaler brings a cash buyer, an investor, a deal, money has literally just fell out of the sky. Mm. Period. Mm. If they don't get that, because you base it on the price, if that price works for them, I can have it in the contract for a dollar. It shouldn't matter. With the dollar with the seller, it shouldn't matter. Gotcha. That you want you want to deal with cash buyers, investors that see you as an asset, a relationship, network. They're calling you on a weekly basis. Ty, what you got? What you got? That's what you want. You don't want someone tripping about how much money you're going to make. As long as the numbers work for them, it shouldn't matter to them how much they're going to make. Because generally, the actual dollar amount, they're going to normally make more. Now, the return on investment, you're going to dwarf the ROI. You're going to normally dwarf what they're going to make. Whereas they may be lucky to get 20, 30 percent, maybe even 40 percent sometimes. You're normally dealing in the thousands of percentage when you make money on a wholesale deal. Spend 100, make 10,000, that's like 9,900 percent. Whereas they may, like say, may have made 30 percent and be happy with it. Yeah, they may have made 50. But you made 10, you only spent 100 to get that 10. They had to spend 100 to get that 50, 100,000. Right. Okay. That's when you double close for the nosiness, for the nosy roses. <laughs> okay. Um, WSG has a question in regards to earnest money deposit. So... They wanted to know, is it common for a seller to ask for a $10,000 earnest money deposit on a sale of a residential property whose ARV is 217 Not a motivated seller, going to give you a ring around the roses, and you're going to lose that money. That's that's ridiculous. $10,000? $10,000. You wouldn't even put ten grand up on a million-dollar property. $10,000? No. Maybe mm -hmm. five. But on a million dollars, but I uh, probably twenty five hundred what I'm offering. But you definitely not on a two hundred thousand dollar problem. That is ridiculous. That is like just so ridiculous. Wow. I would be shocked if that's a deal or anything close to it. Meaning, what's the ARV? What's the price? The repairs. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work that way, especially when they're asking for ten grand. On a two hundred thousand dollar price, then that that sounds a little, you know. Mm, yeah, I'd be leery of that. Now, okay, and on top of that, now if they say say they did say is what 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 the ARVs at two seventeen two seventeen. They told you to let you have eighty, but they want a ten thousand dollar earnest money pot. Double red flag that that may be a Nigerian scam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Double mm -hmm. red flag. No. Okay. Not, not to despair. Not we'll be it. interested in knowing not more about this. On the deal, WSG, if you don't mind, throw the numbers out there. Put the numbers in the chat box. How much are they willing to let the property go for? Um, this property is 27. How many repairs? Uh, how much in repairs have you estimated that it needs or what repairs do they say it needs? Um, just curious to know. This is most definitely, this is what we're here for, these teaching moments. Like that doesn't on the surface sound like anything that we would suggest you move forward with. So... Let us know what you're thinking, because oftentimes, you know, you can go here, you can give out the input, you can give out the advice and they text and they go through, go do it anyway. And then come back and be like, you know what? <laughs> you yeah, told me. Man. Yeah, that, that I just. I know everything. I know, that, yeah. I know the answer to that one. Okay. <laughs> um, so back to the six weeks at 25, 25 hours for the VA. It was 25, 25 hours a week. A week. Okay. Yeah, 
24, 25 hours a week. Okay, so you should have a lot of people you could follow up on. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. So yeah. how would you troubleshoot that? If he says over six weeks, 25 hours how a many, week, how many, no how many leads is that producing per day? We might not get the answer that, you know, by the time we end this, hopefully he can respond. Mm -hmm. If you don't, just post it in the comment section of any of my YouTube videos and I'll answer. And that's anytime or whatever. But, um, yeah, um, how many leads was that producing per day? Okay. So as if it's your business, has joined us. Okay. Waves. Hello. How are you? Hey, guys. How are you doing? We're good. Where are you calling from? Um, a little south of Atlanta, Georgia, in a oh, little town okay. called McDonough, Georgia. Okay, okay. What you got for us tonight? Well, the the uh, my handle is actually because I have a YouTube channel, but it's about cop watching. But that's not what this is. <laughs> hey, that's what's happening. What's the content yeah. on it? No, don't just uh, flush over it. No, uh, what, no. What, what, what's your content? No, I mean, you know, I I, I I film cop to keep them accountable. Oh, gotcha. Huh? Okay. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I ain't messing around with them. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my no, my handle is my channel. Uh, I just put add this and this, but you can see in the comments what my actual channel is. But anyway, uh, I've been in the IT business uh, for about 15 years, and I've also had a life insurance license. And so I did that for a little while. And that's where I really learned about leads. Okay. So leads are a, a very strange creature. Uh, leads can be uh, curated from some big companies and sold and resold and resold and resold and resold. Okay, so you cannot ever believe that if you get a lead, you're the first person to see it or the first person to contact that person. However, one thing about leads is it's about timing and it's about your relation to the person that you're talking to. Even though I haven't done a deal in wholesaling yet, I will. You oh, will. No, you yeah. If you've done life insurance, this will be a breeze. It's going to be easy. Yes, you're exactly correct, sir. So, but it, there, you have to have a deep understanding of leads and, and what they mean and, and how they can help your business. They can help your business immensely if you do not succumb to uh, no. A lot of people are going to tell you no. And, you know, I'm sure we've all seen positive mental, uh, you know, information and in shows and all that about, you know, 100 no's leads you to your first yes and you're going to be successful. But it's not even about that. It, it's about relating to the person you're talking to. If you are not in a situation or have never been in a situation with the person that you are talking to, that relation is going to go nowhere. You're going to lose them. Right. You, you have to be able to connect with them. And, it, and if you have no life experience that connects with what's going on in their life, your best bet is probably to give them to another wholesaler that you know that wholesaler. This is why it's important to build a list of other wholesalers and you know their history and you say, you know what, I know exactly the person you need to talk to so that you can connect with them because, you know, Life insurance talks a lot about helping people, and that's what this business is about, which is what got me interested in it, because you are actually helping people, helping people with a need, you know, a need to get rid of that property or a need to do something, you know, whatever it is in real estate. Right. But you, you, you have to understand people. You have to have some people skills. Report. Really. I mean, so I, look, even though I haven't done a deal, I, I just felt like I had to come on and explain that to people that leads aren't always, you know, a guaranteed way to get your deal. It's an avenue and you might be able in a lead to, you know, find some other, you know, referrals in those leads. You know, that person might not be the person for you at that time, but they might tell your name to some other people. I mean, you, you really never. You really never know, but if you have good personal skills and you're relatable to people, then, you know, you're going to go far. I mean, I've done a, a great stint in Internet technology and you know, I'm thick of people's broken stuff. And I've done it for 15 years, but I've always operated on a principle of integrity. Um, 
because a lot of technicians in my business tend to think that they can fix things from their couch. And it doesn't work like that. Yeah, I go yeah, and fix yeah. things. You know, I, I, I make the customer right as fast as I can. And, and you know, in all businesses, there's a similarity. You know, if you have a clarity of purpose and an honesty about you, you're going to go far. All right. Boom, there you boom. go. Boom. I, I like that. Hey, man, um, uh, this is your first time um, uh, watching the live stream? Uh, no, I've been watching you for a couple of weeks. I've done my own live streams. I've I've been okay. on for a while. I mean, you know, I'm not, I, you know, like being in front of the camera right here doesn't scare me. I got okay. you. I got you. I got you. All right, <laughs> All right. That's what's up, man. Well, thank you. All right, so well, join, much. join us again, man, especially when you get close to a deal after close, where we love to hear the story. Well, uh, I got to talk to your support because I don't think they like my email because uh, I have my own email. <laughs> like, yeah. I have my own, you know, domain and like, when I went to sign up with you guys, you know, it's funny because like two days you, two days ago you were talking about there's only three reasons why you didn't get the course, and I was like, uh, no, there's a fourth reason. Your uh, uh, your team or whatever doesn't like certain emails. So did you ever get uh, help? Uh, I haven't emailed them, but you know, like I went through the process. I did the entered the credit card information. Uh, I've been busy with my own business, so I, I kind of put it on the side for a little while. And I, I like, uh, uh, you know, because you're so verbal, uh, you're different than a lot of uh, people on YouTube because you're very verbal. And most YouTube videos, you actually have to watch. Uh, whereas you, I can just drive down the road and listen to you. Oh, wow. You know, you're, you, you, are an, you are more audible than you are visual. Oh, wow. So that's, that's a good thing. So uh, because in the 80s or 90s, I was kind of involved with Amway. So it was all about the tapes and listening and, you know, learning to be more positive and stuff. So I kind of had that, uh, you know, listening while I'm driving. So learning while I'm driving uh, kind of mindset already. And that's one of the things I love about you because you're 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 an audible. Oh man, I really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. I, think, I guess we need to do a better job at our podcasting. Even though we have them, we don't, we don't, we don't edit it for podcasting. It's just this and how it opens yeah. up or whatever. So yeah. uh, we uh, might need to do a better job at that <laughs> or whatever. Man. No, I understand. And and it's really kind of strange for me because I actually wear hearing aids. Uh, these are just my headset. Uh, for when I do uh, YouTube stuff because it's a bone conduction thing and I can hear without having to have my hearing aids on. But um, it, it's um, it, it's very important to me that a uh, video has closed captions and and okay. and or the person that doing most of the talking is uh, very understandable, which you are. Oh, so by the way, my question earlier was not about the commenter in the post. My comment was about the lady that's talking. How many deals have you done? Is Ty made your stack of paper deep? <laughs> wow, really? You know what? It was nice having you on. I'm glad that you came and joined us. Uh, but yeah, I'm just click you on. Uh, you're gonna do it more soon. Is that what you're so, saying? So so let me tell you this. I'm going to be really transparent here and, and I don't get access. So I'll use this as a right, I'm all about accountability. Okay. So I am the world's worst procrastinator. Okay. I, I just am. I, I have the habit of procrastinating. So let me tell you, when Ty began his journey into wholesaling real estate, um, I knew him. I knew him then when he got started, did his first deal. I, I, I've shared this before. He gave the copy that he bought on eBay. He gave me a copy right then. Okay. Um, I've had this, this man by my side. I literally call him my best friend. Um, so I have all the tools, everything he pitches. I have access. I have access to the man and I still, I'm just not as I've done some deals in the beginning, you know, but you know why? Yeah. Times were hard, yeah. needed some money. I knew this worked. And it was like, okay, let me put my nose to the grind. Literally everything that Ty has mentioned, he's tossed my way. And I just suck at this. And you think I would have the voice of Gab and not, you know, I don't mind telling folks what I think. But I don't, I, I, I have to do that. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Ooh, wait a minute. I think you just said it. 
much. You just said I talk too much. Okay. Anyway, but 2022, <laughs> I'm going on record. My fiscal year begins in February. I am going to close out this deal this year doing at least 10 deals. And I want you to hold me accountable. You are going to be my accountability partner. Okay. So you're going to come on this show every Thursday and say, what's up, Adria? Or at least once a month and be like, hey, what's up? What you doing? All right, well, I'll tell you what. If you do yeah. 10, I'll be 20. I'll bet. Game on. Game. Okay. I'll make it happen. I, I'm just, oh, 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 okay. Don't be challenging me. Okay. That's all make some money. Yeah. There's enough money for everybody in this universe. There's a lot of money. Let's get for it everybody. in our own house. That's, that's, okay. Got you. I'm waiting. <laughs> so, yes, the voice. So, let me clarify. I know how. I know how. I know all the nicks and crannies and the tips and the do's and the don'ts. I just don'ts. And that's the problem. <laughs> that, okay. That's Look, the problem. <laughs> I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to end this on one thing. Uh, okay. I heard a rapper. Uh, I have a, uh, it's really weird. I, I'm hearing impaired, but I have a lot of uh, musicians that are friends of mine. Uh, <laughs> Some guys that go to the Grammys and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I heard a rapper in San Antonio, uh, a DJ that that played a tune uh, when I was there, and and the song said, "Don't be about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it." I I I know you didn't. Did, did you? Oh, okay. I did. I just said, "Don't okay. talk about it. Be okay. about it." Okay. Okay. That's that's fine. Oh, I'm yeah. Talking, you know I mean, what? I, I I'm not watching. No. I'm as white as snow, but I'm from around the way because I came from South and Atlanta. And we're from the block. I, that's, each that's other fine. around. That's fine. I'm going to make the money and not let the money make me. We we with it. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> well, thank we'll you for joining us. 2022 the year. 2022 is going to hey. be the year. Thank yeah. you so hey, much thanks, for joining uh, us. Hey, Ty, thank you for all the information that you provide. There's a lot that I can learn. Uh, I hope that this provided some value for your show. Um, oh, you yeah. know, yeah, fellow yeah, YouTuber, yeah. we're all about supporting each other. Yeah, we're going to check out your channel. What is it again? Uh, as if it's your business. And I just had a, a premiere uh, from another channel called Know Your Rights uh, today. Okay. I mean, 3,000 views in three hours is just crazy to me because I, I was a really small channel, but that's fixing to change. Oh, yeah, that's what's up, man. All right, yeah. well, definitely join us again, man. You know, we live pretty much four days a week, so just whenever you want to just dive in. Yeah. And I'll get with you people soon about uh, getting the course. Uh, the course look good. Uh, I just need to work through it. Um, I've got my own things going on. I do have a successful business. It's just, um, I'm looking for passive income. There you go. Yeah, Me too. <laughs> yeah. we all, that's the goal. Oh, yeah. That's the goal for everybody. Should be. I mean, yeah, you can do a deal every month and make great money, but until you, until you hit that point where you're a passive income, you have no security. Making money in your sleep is the dream. Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Thanks, guys. Right. God bless. I love you. Have a good night. Yes, sir. Did he just come on here and bully me? <laughs> is that what he did? Oh, and y'all just allowed hey, that hey, to happen. Hey, when inspiring. Inspiring is the word. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. And y'all in the comments just allowed it to happen. Didn't even bag me up. I know not to take y'all to the dag on fish fry if something go down. Okay. So this has been, I think, a good show think a really really good show thank you for coming on and closing us out with that live any questions that you guys have in these chat boxes instagram tiktok twitch facebook youtube um we can come back and most definitely get those answered yes true king accountability partner i think that should be the thing everybody should have an accountability partner every one of you guys someone in um Someone on uh, TikTok asked the question, what does your wholesaling team look like? And I think that's going to vary from person to person. Um, and I like to close out with answering that. So I think an accountability partner would be number one. Now, you can do this by yourself, but if there's someone else that's genuinely interested in this process with you and maybe not even wanting to do it but at least we'll listen to you and listen to you explain how to do it because one thing i forgot to mention is i talk about ty all the time to all my friends anybody listen i tell them how to do wholesale and resale like like what is that explain it and i'll explain it, which is the worst thing you do is trying to explain it um but i used to normally use the coke as the example like what you choose to pay for a coke and that price and so on and so on but the question i always get asked is the same thing this guy just asked why aren't you doing it Literally, why don't you do it? If he's so good at it, why don't you do it? If you know it's possible to make this amount of money, why aren't you doing it? Why are you here? Why are you working here? Why aren't you doing this? Because I'm lazy. I said it. 
So what? Okay, so what does a wholesaling team look like? Um, again, you can do it by yourself, but to uh, try to do more deals, ideally you're going <laughs> to just get people to uh, duplicate your efforts. So most people have, the first thing they maybe have is add on someone to do some of the uh, grunt work, which is like cold calling or handling your text messaging for you. And then you may have what they call a, a, a depot uh, manager uh, disposition, meaning you're someone that's going to find buyers for your uh, deals. Um, so you have two legs of it, basically the, the finding the deal person and the person to find the buyers for the deals. And normally, so that just grows out from there. Now, like if you're big in the social media and you know that uh, part of the business, um, uh, then you may have someone help running that for you also. But uh, you start adding layers onto all of that uh, for the most part. Um, on both sides, the seller, seller side, the marketing buyer side, you know, so. Okay. Okay. Yo, so, uh, so we've been rolling pretty hard here. I uh, really appreciate Adrian. I'm going to just say something about my gov, all right? Um, oh, is, um, one of the smartest people I know. Oh. She's, she, she's my own personal Google. So when I want to know something, now, sometimes I obviously I could Google it, but I'll text you and I'll say, "Well, what, what does it mean?" Like, but mm -hmm. I, I may know it. I may see what it means, but she'll break it down where I can. My little brain can explain it. But one of the smartest people I know. Some of the stuff that she knows, you know, I'm always surprised when she <laughs> don't know it. That's just, just like, hey, you don't know that. You know, you don't know that. I'm, I'm yeah. surprised, but one of the smartest people I know. I'm gonna get it right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, so again, we appreciate everyone joining us. Um, uh, Renika should be back next week with us. Um, but um, please share this, like it. Uh, remember everything you need. You can text the number 205 964 5243. If you didn't get your question answered, post it in the comment section of any of these videos, and I answer those on a daily basis. And uh, it's going to go in replay mode on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. The best experiences on YouTube. And we'll see you on the flip side. All right. Bye, guys. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. TikTok, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 Yep, yep. 205